Hello, this is Dr. John. Um, I've got a few texts from individuals that, uh, that had some questions over the assignment, so I want to cover uh, a couple things just to clarify that. Uh, most importantly, I want to tell everybody what a great job you're doing so far. Um, I, I really can't, I can't compare you to any of the group of students that I've had. The forums are just uh, spectacular. Um, I hesitate to say that because I'm afraid you pick your feet up and coast, and, and that's not the goal here. The goal is is to acknowledge you're doing some really good work, and uh, um, I, I've yet to see a group of students at any level uh, perform at the at the at the overall level this group is doing. Um, so pat yourselves on the back a little bit, but let's keep it up. I'm excited to see uh, you know how how things progress, and and I think the one thing that we got to work on is persistence because. Uh, that's the only weakness I'm going to see, and we haven't even challenged that yet. So uh, keep it up. Um, really, really encouraged by this group so far. You're uh, you're making my job a real pleasure. So thank you very much. I'm uh, uh, once again blessed. So uh, I'm going to cover the main points. So first of all, as far as any courses where there are options, I want you to pick your options. I don't want to exclude you from something that you really want to do. Um, if you want to kind of go off script a little bit and pick a Supreme Court case that that uh, uh, is fairly new, or, or maybe even an early one, if you're kind of a history nut, um, you know, run that by me and let's let's talk about it. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'll look for a reason to say yes. I'm not not looking to make your life difficult or more tedious and boring than it than it has to be. So I want to go over a couple things. Um, so we're going to take a look uh, at a one to two page paper in APA. Um, there are links throughout on APA. There's a template in there. Take a look at that. Um, the, the site I like to use is that APA OWL Online Writing Lab by Purdue University. So there's a sample paper there. So that should clarify a lot of things. Um, so what the assignment says for week five, it says that this week we're gonna look at the role of government. Your responsibility is to select and understand a current government position regarding one of the following issues education okay that can be college that can be uh, uh, high school can be uh, what's going on in the grade schools uh, if you really wanted to get down in the weeds you could take a look at the at the books and uh, the uh, inclusion or exclusion of certain reading materials um, social welfare uh, social security the safety net that we have in place uh, you know I think a big issue is how we're treating our mentally ill is there a safety net in place for them uh, national security, that kind of goes without much saying. There's been a big white balloon floating all over the country that nobody seems to be doing anything about. Apparently they took that down, but that's that's an obvious one. Transportation, um, you know, with, uh, with the green movement and the electronic vehicles, uh, electric vehicles, uh, there's some pros and cons of that and the driverless vehicles, so that would be a cool one. Uh, the environment is always a hot button issue. Um, I wish I could tell you this was something new, but we used to call it ecology. And uh, back in the 70s, we said the world was going to end, and here we are. So uh, you do with that what you want. I'm certainly not uh, uh, somebody that, that's a denier in global warming, but I don't think it's the way it's presented to us in the media. But that's an opinion, because I'm not a scientist in that, in that form. All right, you should have at least two current academic sources, not Wikipedia. Do not use Wikipedia to uh, cite in your work. Um, I don't care if you read it, but if you cite Wikipedia, it's going to be a huge red flag. It's going to be like, um, I don't know, showing up at a roller skating rink with ice skates. You just, <laughs> it isn't going to fly very well in the academic world. Uh, for whatever reason, us professors are very, um, I won't say offended, but on guard when it comes to Wikipedia uh, because of the lack of credible sources. So you're going to pick one of the questions. Uh, what is being done on a federal, state, and government regarding this issue? So, you know, we've got three big levels of government. And, and, and if you want to go way out in the weeds, look at the global efforts on it because you have all these alliances and treaties. Uh, look at Brexit uh, over in uh, Europe if you want something. Look at NAFTA. Um, but uh, most importantly, you want to take a look at the federal. Okay, that's going to be all 50 states. You're going to take a look at state government. Uh, that's going to be Colorado if you're here uh, or your local government issue. Uh, what specific... Uh, Issue or events illustrate broader principles. That just means give some examples, okay? What is the most appropriate level of government to deal with it and why? Uh, I hate to give you the answer to this, but it should be the lowest level. Um, that's just the 
philosophy of CCU and me. Uh, we don't like big government. So if, uh, uh, if you're gonna push it to the federal level or global level, you better have some good sourcing and some good reasons for that. Uh, especially with education. I don't think education should be at the federal level, but that's me. Uh, does the context determine a changing standard? Cite historical examples. In other words, you could take a look at the Second Amendment and say, well, guns have changed. Well, I could take a look at the First Amendment and say that um, uh, media has changed, the printing press is, is changed, the internet has changed things. Uh, but when we're talking about context, we are talking about uh, technology, advancements, cultural changes, all that type of stuff. All right. So again, it's a one to two page paper. It's double space. That's just standard APA. You're going to answer the questions above. You're going to create a PowerPoint. Keep the PowerPoint fairly basic. Get your main points in there, a couple sub points. Throw some graphics in there if you want to. Um, and again, you got two current sources. Uh, you may use the Bible if you want to. Uh, you probably need two sources up, uh, beyond that. Two sources minimum. I always like to see a couple more if possible. Uh, but as a standard throughout the rest of your academic career, two sources per page for every academic project. So if you're doing an eight page paper, you're gonna need 16 sources. Yeah, it seems like a lot, but that's just welcome to my world. All right, um, again, these are due this weekend. Um, so at midnight and you know, work early, edit early. I also put a checklist in here, uh, use that. Uh, those are the issues I see over and over. I've been teaching this level and college level and state police cadets and I see issues over and over again. So I, I, instead of me just letting you fail or letting you struggle, I try to outline those and put in concrete fashion you know, what you need to do. So if you can check all the boxes on that checklist, you should do fairly well or I need to rewrite my checklist, which is also a possibility. Who knows? So with that in mind, uh, I'm a text away. Some of you have reached out to me with questions and you certainly haven't offended me and I hope I've been uh, courteous and receptive uh, in responding back to you. You are, you are never an inconvenience. You're never a burden. You're the priority. So do not hesitate. Uh, with that in mind, uh, have a good week and uh, do good work. And like I said, get that draft up early and spend more time editing uh, than you think you should. And uh, I think you'll be surprised. I got high hopes for this group. The expectations are high, uh, which can be a negative too, because if my expectations are high. That means your, your work has to be pretty good. Uh, I will give you a lot of detailed feedback on your papers because uh, you know I want to set us up for a strong finish when we turn our finals in. And I want you to know what those expectations are. And you know that's feedback is important. I know that's a big priority for my students. So I try to give you uh, as much feedback as I can. If you don't feel like you got the adequate feedback or you don't understand it, uh, again, text me. Uh, we can FaceTime, we can talk, we can text back and forth. Uh, make sure you understand, you know, if you have any issues, what those are. Uh, otherwise, uh, enjoy the pat on the back if I give it to you. Uh, you earned it. And if uh, there's some things that we can fix, uh, I'm the guy to fix them. And I, I will help you do that. Or we're going to be a team. We'll fix them together. All right, I've rambled on enough, so I just wanted to catch everybody and put everybody on the same page. Do good work, and I look forward to seeing your papers. I'll probably, depending on the weather, uh, it'll be Monday or Tuesday. If the weather's good, I may ski Monday. If uh, the weather's bad, I may grade Monday, but Tuesday should be the latest to get feedback on your papers. Take care.